What's up guys, it's one blazing or one today and by the title of the video, should you change with YouTube is what I want to discuss today. It's nothing that I normally discuss in a video like this, so I thought it's about time I made something like this. I've seen a couple of videos saying how YouTube have changed for the last couple of weeks, a month or so. I've been with the site, site since 2006, but I didn't stop by loading until 2010. Now we all know YouTube has changed, whether it's design or people's views or who we like and who we follow. Of course, change is always going to happen. Now, my personal take is that um, there seems to be very confusing messages out there or at the moment online. Um, people say you should do videos with the change and keep up. Like, if you don't adapt and do videos what people want at the time, you'll just perish and you're going to a YouTube like oblivion and no one ever view it again. But on the other hand, there's people saying you should do you you should uh, do the videos you like you enjoy your hobbies and you know the stuff that you really want to do and, and create and create your fat and good at um, so what I'm trying to say is for every YouTube channel we've all got to go down a path now do we follow what's happening out online at the moment and my careful words is to at the time of the fad do the video for instance Coney 2012 that scenario now there's a couple of people that are totally unrelated that had to comment on uh, talk about it make videos just to get views let's just say that they did that now people say to stay relevant you should adapt and change and do those types of videos like Kylie Lip Jenner challenge that's a bit confusing you know don't understand it why people give that advice I think the best thing you should do is if you feel you want to comment on the current situation out there and that's happening or fad good you go on and do it but you shouldn't just plaster videos plaster on top of plaster videos just because someone else is doing it for instance I'm a challenge channel now if uh, I don't know if, for instance because I'm a challenge channel I'm not going to all of a sudden get the new Primark dress everyone's banging on about in red lace and it's a fad at the moment. You'd be like, well, what's he up to? Do you see what I mean? How that. It, it's hard to explain, but every channel's got to think what content do I make for my channel? Do I follow what everyone else is doing at the moment? Or do I do a bit of both? Or do I just go against the wind and do what I feel is right and create something totally original? Very difficult. Bloody hell, the sun's coming out. Ah, oh, there'd be light. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you sort of understand this video. I'm not complaining, I'm not bitching, I'm just saying there's a couple of channels out there just giving out some confusing advice. I am giving out some advice, but you don't have to take it. It's just saying. I am but I'm. Ah, uh, can't speak now. I've been one blazing one. Call rate, subscribe. I like to see your video responses, so just tweet them at one blazing or one, and I like to see them. And uh, give your comments. I want to hear what you think about, you know, what type of videos everyone should do. I'm sorry.